hello friends in the current video tutorial i will be talking about a very important function which is known by the name replace array subset it is used to modify the existing array uh, you can replace the particular element or a part of the array by a element or by a array so let's see how it works I have generated 10 elements 1 to 10 and I have stored them in the basic array now I have selected this function this is replace array subset and I have put the row index that at which index of the row since it is a one dimensional array a particular element has to be modified with the this element so let's see I have selected the index let's say 5 that means sixth element will be replaced by element 0 let's run the program this is the basic array 1 to 10 elements have been generated I have selected 5 so that means the sixth index sixth index element is replaced by 0 this is replace array subset let's see the two dimensional version of this in this I have again created an array 10 by 10 array and I have used the initialize function to generate a 10 by 10 array of all the elements 1 now I've used this replace array subset function in this I have taken the row index since this is a two dimensional array so there will be a row index for modification point and a column index for modification point and an element so this would be modified that means at the row index as well as the column index that particular element would be replaced by the element set let's see how it works so row index for modification point I have selected 5 that means fifth row and column index I have selected 4 uh, so row index is 5 that means 6th row and column index is 4 that means the 5th row a uh, 5th uh, column so 6th row and 5th column and element I have selected is let's say 7 so let's run so you see that all the elements generated are 1 1 1 but in this modified array this is 6th row and 5th column this element is replaced by 7 let's see if we can modify the original array by a complete array modifier array let's see this version also in this I have generated a 2 by uh, 4 array having initialized with 4 as the elements this is initial array 2 by 4 array I have generated and 4 is the initialized element again I have chosen row index and column index for modification 
this is a 10 by 10 original array which is to be modified let's see if we can do modify the array with an another array so row index for modification point is 0 uh, let's do it to 5 fifth row uh, sixth row that means let's put it for fifth row and fifth column uh, fifth column so let's also show the modifier array this is the array which is going to modify the modifier array let's run so you see that this whole array has modified the existing original 2b array with 222 at the fifth row this is the fifth row and fifth column onwards it has modified the original array so this is replace array subset functionality available in labview this is a very effective technique of modifying the existing arrays with the element or some sub array or a array subset thanks for watching this video i hope you have liked this video